Hello everyone, and today I'm going to be showing you how to stream PC games to your PlayStation Vita. So we know PS4 Remote Play on Vita is one of those unsung heroes on the platform. But since Henkaku released, many of us have lost access to this fantastic feature. That feature has actually been recently restored with a release of Molecular Shell on Henkaku R7. I will cover that in another video. We've had an empty spot in our lives with the Vita. Enter developer XYZZ with Vita Moonlight, a port of open source NVIDIA game stream client Moonlight. Moonlight allows us to stream games across the local network to a client device such as an NVIDIA Shield, smartphones, or for this video, a PlayStation Vita or PlayStation TV. The link for the application will be included below. For the rest of the video, I will be assuming you have Henkaku or Taihen running, but if you don't, I will include a video showing how to get it running on your official firmware 3.6 Vita PSTV. Be advised, you do need to have both version 0.1.2 VPK for Moonlight and some variant of GeForce Experience 3.2 on your PC with a supported NVIDIA GPU. First thing we're going to do is install Moonlight, and it's just like any other VPK on Henkaku. Open up Vita Shell or Molecular Shell, navigate to where you store your homebrew VPKs, and install the package. If you already have an older version of Moonlight installed, the new VPK will overwrite the old install automatically. Alright, so let's go ahead and launch Moonlight now. First thing you want is GeForce Experience open on your PC. Go to Settings and select Shield. Once here, enable Game Stream. Now back on your Vita, select Connect 2 and put in the IP address of your PC. Once you do, you'll be prompted for a four digit pairing code. Put that pairing code in on your PC and the devices are paired. Let's go ahead and check our settings in Moonlight now. For pretty much everything, 1280 by 720 will be fine. I'm using a wired connection on my PlayStation TV, so I'll be setting the frame rate to 60 FPS and the bit rate to 3000 kilobits per second. On Vita handheld, you'll probably want 2500 your mileage may vary due to factors like the processor in your router network traffic and configuration so be sure to test different settings in both moonlight and your router for best results on your end now back at the main menu connect to your PC's IP and you'll be presented with a list of game stream games I'll be playing Metal Gear Rising as our test subject select your game and you are now playing a PC game on your Vita As far as generally ideal setups, you'll want your PC wired directly to your router, and if you're using a PlayStation TV, a wired connection on that device as well. To optimize your wireless experience, be sure your Wi-Fi network is on the least congested channel possible, and be aware of the usual culprits of 2.4 GHz interference, such as microwaves and baby monitors. Ideally, your PC will be wired to the router in either scenario. So how well does Moonlight actually run? Again, it depends on several factors like the quality of your connection, wired versus wireless, channel congestion, bitrate in moonlight, and again, the quality of your router and network load. On my network, I will again note that I am on a wired connection on my PSTV, and my PC is wired as well. That said, the handheld input lag is noticeably lower because the OLED on the Vita is faster than the round trip response that ends on my television with the PSTV, but it is still quite playable. Overall, I am very impressed with this piece of homebrew and would recommend this to anyone who has a Vita system and a PC with a supported NVIDIA GPU. Paired with the recently restored PlayStation 4 Remote Play, we have a pretty epic game streaming client on our hands. As stated before, links for all relevant applications will be included in the video description. Hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day.
All right, just in case anyone thought there was some kind of wizardry going on making uh, that video, here is an actual PlayStation Vita handheld launching Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. I'm streaming it from my PC. This is not pre-rendered video. One thing I forgot to mention was if you wanted, you could launch Steam, which will give you access to more games, and you don't actually have to add stuff to uh, manually to GeForce Experience. We'll do Metal Gear Rising again. Starting stream. I am recording this on my cell phone. I am sorry. But my room is dark, but it's also the only way to make this work. Let's get the mouse out of the way. So far, so good. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Metal Gear Rising, streamed to a PlayStation Vita via Steam and GameStream and Moonlight. There you go.